עדן הולנד, שלום. שלום. And welcome to Culture Buzz. Thank you very much. I'm very happy to be here. Uh, we are delighted to have you, and actually we should say welcome back to Israel. Yes. Because we are aware, we are fully aware of your wonderful success at Marsiak. Yes, I just came from an unbelievable experience. I uh, sang in Marsiak Jazz Festival in, in the south of France. It was uh, incredible. It was fantastic, as they say in French, oui. <laughs> because we had uh, the chance to see a few clips, and it was indeed impressive, so Mazal Tov! Thank you very much, thank you. According to our records, if we are not wrong, you are the first Israeli singer to sing at Marsiak. I'm the first uh, Israeli jazz singer to, to perform with, uh, you know, with her own group there, with a quartet, um, to be invited for the 35 uh, years uh, of, uh, you know, of the festivals. It was a very special year because there were unbelievable musicians from all over the world that came. And you could feel that it's a big celebration of the, the annual festival. So that was uh, really an honor. And for you to perform in France, It's like performing at home. Yes, I was born in Paris and um, I came to Israel when I was uh, very young. And uh, ever since, you know, I, I mix my two cultures, my uh, French culture and my Israeli one. Lucky and us. <laughs> yes. It's, uh, I'm lucky, you know, that this language, this culture, uh, the French one is, is so rich and so, so special. And on the other hand, the combination of, um, of the way I, I create my own music in Hebrew as well, it's, um, it's very, very special to me to be able to do that. And in addition to the wonderful musical experience, there was another kind of experience. A bit more diplomatic one because you got to meet the mayor yes uh, when I was in Marciac I, uh, I was very very honored to to have um, the chance to, to meet the mayor of Marciac Monsieur Guillaume that is uh, not only the mayor of Marciac is also the creator of uh, Marciac Jazz Festival wow. he's a very passionate man of uh, he loves music he loves to discover new artists he He actually brought the jazz to Marciac 35 years ago. Amazing. And never sits. It's a big celebration every year. It's the main activity of the city. And also there's a big new, um, a very beautiful uh, concert hall that is one year old called La Strada in Marciac, which also is, uh, you know, uh, something that he created. And he's the artistical director of the festival. So he invited me this year to perform and to be invited from such an incredible man. It's It's, um, it was an honor and I hope to, you know, to, to go there again because I was hosted like a queen, really. I got, um, I got such a beautiful, um, you know, people were so nice, so kind, the, the team of the festival, the audience, everyone, it was, ah, it was amazing. <laughs> it sounds like a, a perfect A perfect experience. Yes, and it's very important to say that I was also uh, invited with uh, a trio from um, a musician from Paris, uh, Vincent Strazieri, Silva Romano, and Philippe Soira. They are uh, three incredible musicians that uh, work a lot in the European jazz scene, and we collaborated together, which, um, uh, you know, the, the new group was born, uh, my quartet with them. And also that was a beautiful discovery to, to play with locals and that it went so well. So also and that was great. If we may say so ourselves, the performance was brilliant. We can tell because we visited your Facebook page and we saw some of the clips. Ah, thank well you. done. Thank you. Well done. Thank you very much. And maybe this, is a, this will be a good time to switch back to Eden in Israel. Yes. Eden Olan, in addition for being a, a jazz musician, is also concerned about the well-being of her fellow musicians. Can you tell us a bit about it? Well, two years ago, uh, I was invited to the office of Danny Gottfried, which is the chairman of the Israeli Musicians Union, 
and he is the pioneer of jazz in Israel because he's a pianist, a great musician that brought all the jazz to Israel in the 70s. He created all the jazz series and the Red Sea Jazz Festival, which is an international jazz festival in the south of Israel, in Eilat. He directed it artistically for almost 25 years. And uh, he today uh, sits in the office of the office and join the team and to build a job that helps the community to know better how to manage themselves. You know, the, the music industry is very, very complex, a very interesting field and today uh, it's not obvious to know how to make a career out, out of it, you know, and um, so my job is to, to help uh, the young generation, even also the oldest generation, to, to um, know better how to give value to the profession. Um, I organize myself um, festivals, music festivals that we, um, um, you know, call musicians to, to take part of it and to be paid uh, like the union would love all the musicians to be paid all the time in every place. Uh, I organize benefits for musicians, conferences, lectures, everything I can do in order to to help the community and for me it's an honor because in the morning I sit in the office and I, I do my job there and I'm lucky to be able to help a large amount of musician, uh, musicians and uh, in the evening I continue my activities in Israel which uh, is you know, recording in the studio, of course uh, concerts, uh, rehearsals, all that I do in my you know, independent career so I, I feel blessed every day because to be able to, to, to help, it's uh, very special to me and I meet incredible people in, the, um, in my job uh, in the union, people who I learn a lot from and it's, uh, it's very special to be backstage and also on stage, yeah, you know? <laughs> uh, it, it must be a funny feeling. Yeah, yeah. But I must say it's quite impressive because I will make two observations in your permission on what you just said. First of all, you said it's your job. Uh, listening to you, it sounds more like a mission. You are really deep into it. I'm deep into it because, you know, in, as a singer, marketing is very important. So I do it for myself. And to be able to do it for others too, to organize things, to, to, to give value to, to different activities, it's something that I, I'm very happy that I can do, that, that I have the energy to do. So also it's important for me to say that it's an honor to work uh, side to side to a man like Danny which is an incredible um, man that I think that if today we have jazz in our culture it's a lot because of him, because of him. and Yossi Menachem who is also uh, there and does an amazing work and uh, help uh, t to distribute all the, the money of recordings in the radio and the television to all the musicians in Israel which is also such an important thing so Absolutely. So uh, for me as a young musician, it's an honor to be able to learn from the one who have more experience and I learn every day. Wonderful. And the second observation I wanted to make was because of a sentence you said. You said that you feel lucky. And I think all the musicians in Israel <laughs> should consider themselves lucky for having you with such a passion trying to help them make a living with their music. Thank you, first of all, for your, really your kind words. Um, I will tell you something. I think that if each of us would give more value and would um, would ask more for each time he goes out of his house to to play, because nothing is for free, you know, um, then it would be better for all of us. And I think that uh, if it sticks to, to everyone, then the industry of music will be much better. And um, people we take us, will take us very seriously. And sometimes it's complicated because people think that, you know, it's, it's fun. It's fun to play, it's fun to go out, it's fun to, to be on stage. But it's a very, very serious career and it takes a lot of, um, a lot of efforts and a very, very strict method. And, uh, and so you need, you need to, to be very, very serious in order to succeed in that. And I think that that's a little bit my job in the union, to show that uh, 
uh, each time you go on stage it's such uh, preparations before that you need to know what you demand you know and to give value to it as I said the musicians are lucky to have you thank you and then uh, before we switch to your secret love affair with La Réunion yes <laughs> I, I hope I pronounce it uh, correctly yes I would like to ask you a question uh, growing up discovering jazz music discovering music Can you mention a few musicians, both Israelis and foreigners, who have been an inspiration to you? Yes, well, first of all, my father. <laughs> Ronnie? Ronnie Holland is, a, is a, a very big musician. He's a jazz drummer. And ever since I'm a baby, he raised me among other great musicians. He always gave me a very, very important education. Oh, so we know who to blame. Exactly. <laughs> Blame him. <laughs> he's, uh, you know, he's a very, very important, uh, very important, how to figure, say it? Figure. Figure. Exactly. Figure in my life and in my career because he, he built all the different influences that I, I, I live ever since I'm a baby and uh, I'm surrounded with. And, um, you know, then I, um, he always gave me a tip. Uh, to listen as much as I can to musicians, not only to singers, you know. So um, in my uh, jazz culture, I love, uh, for example, Dexter Gordon. I love, uh, of course, all the classics, uh, Miles Davis, Charlie Parker, drummers like Max Roach, like Tony Williams, uh, uh, that are very big influences as well. Andre Ciccarelli, who is a recent drummer that is one of the biggest jazz drummer in Europe and that also I grew up with because of um, my father's admiration for him and that's also a big influence and the influence I, um, I love these days is a um, brilliant pianist called Mehdi Gerville who is from the Reunion Islands who also uh, is a very big influence in my uh, music Brazilian artists uh, African artists uh, Richard Bona uh, You know, jazz singers like Diana Washington and Sarah Vaughan are my favorites. And uh, I can talk on and on, you know. There's Lots of influences. Yes, of course. I, I listen to a lot, a lot of music. So let's talk a bit about La, Reuni La Reunion. Yes. And this is the time to mention that there is a beautiful album already. Thank you, yes. So again, Mazel Tov. Thank and you. And how, how did it all start? Well, in 2008, I was, as an audience, as a spectatrice, I was uh, in the Marciac Jazz Festival. And my dream ever since was to go there and to perform, so that's a dream that I came to. It took to. you four years. 